So here we have a few things in the setups that we need to do. So the first thing you want to do is you want to come over to your online store themes and you want to open up the theme customizer. You're going to want to come down here to app embeds and then enable upcart right here and then click on save. So this is going to allow upcart to actually edit our cart. So now we can come back over here to the app and we can see that this is now completed. And now we can go ahead and actually get into the setup. So there's pretty much two things that you can set up in side of upcart. And one is the cart itself and the other is the sticky cart. So we'll start with the cart editor first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the online store and I'm going to pull up the cart. And actually I'm going to add a product to cart first. And then we're going to see that this is the starting point for our cart right now. And we'll be able to jump over here as we make some edits. So we can see there's going to be different sections right here that we can add to our cart. And we're going to see a preview over here. So we can see right now we have the cart itself enabled. And we can edit the different colors and everything from our cart to match our theme settings. So by default, we are inheriting the fonts from our theme which is good because we want the card to match our branding. And then here we can go ahead and customize our button colors and our accent colors. So if we were to change this button color here, let's say we just changed it to this shade of red, we can see that now this checkout button is red versus here on live it is black. So it's up to you whether you want it to match your current button colors, which on this store here is black, or if you want it to be a different color. In this case, I'll just keep it black to match with the current, bu current buttons on the live store. So that's the design. It's pretty self-explanatory. So now let's get into these different things that we can add to our cart. So the first one here is announcements. So all of these we can see have this icon right next to them with the eye with the slash mark through it, which means they are inactive. So you can see announcements are inactive right here. But if I click on enable, we can see that this announcement shows up. If we disable it, we can see that it goes away. So that's the cool thing is that editing everything is going to be pretty easy because you're going to see it live over here. So we will go ahead and show this announcement right here. And we can see that right now our, it's giving us some default text right here. And we can see that it comes with a timer. So if you want to say like your cart is reserved for two minutes, we can see that your products are reserved for X minutes right here. You can change the announcement from the top or the bottom if you want. And then you can change the background color and everything on here as well. So let's say maybe we wanted to change it to a shade of red. We could do that right there. So that's the announcement bar. It's pretty straightforward. You don't have to use the timer if you don't want to. You can just have a regular announcement, but the timer is built into the announcement bar if you want to go ahead and use it. Next one we have here is rewards. So if we enable rewards right here, and we can see that right here it says you're $5 away from free shipping. So this is going to be one of the common ways to use the rewards bar is free shipping. So we can see here we can edit the colors just like on the other pages. So we have the color of the bar and the background color. And we can see here that it's tracking the reward basis by cart total or item count. So one thing to keep in mind is that Upcart, the app itself, doesn't actually create the specific discounts. It's just tracking it for you. So you have to actually create the discount in Shopify. So let's say you did offer free shipping in your store for any orders over, say, $50. We could do this right here. So we can see now it says free shipping unlocked. So we have over $50 in our cart. So we can see now it says free shipping unlocked. But we want to make sure that we actually have a free shipping option on our store so this is something you'd want to make sure that you have set up which you can obviously set up here down here in settings inside of shipping settings you can set up free shipping over a specific dollar amount the rewards that you're setting up in here have to actually be set up inside of Shopify. So whether it's an automatic discount or whether it's shipping rules, you just need to keep in mind that you're actually going to have to create these discounts or these shipping options inside of Shopify. And then what you're doing here is you're just matching the details of what's created inside of the app itself. So this is essentially just acting as a notification to show people how close they are to the discounts you've created inside of Shopify. 
So now we can come down here and take a look at the next one, upsell. So this is going to be a pretty common one. So if we enable this here, we can choose one of two options. We can either use AI recommended upsells or we can configure manual upsells. So if I click on AI recommended upsells, we can see that the upsells are going to automatically show up right here. Or if we choose to configure it manually, we can set it up by adding a new upsell right here. So we can start out by having a specific trigger or all products. So this means that this upsell is going to show in the case of somebody adding one of these particular products to the cart or if they're shopping in one of these particular collections or we can choose to just have this particular upsell show up whenever you add all products to your store whenever anyone adds any product in your store to cart and then you can choose what product you want to actually show for the upsell so if you have very particular upsells that you want to show for very particular products then I would recommend setting it up manually. But if you're not very particular with what you want to show for certain products, and you just always want to have an upsell showing, then you can save yourself some time and use the AI recommended upsells, which we'll do for the sake of this tutorial. Now we have the upsell settings. So we can choose whether or not we want to show an upsell offer if the item is already in cart. So this essentially means that you want to show a duplicate item. So by default, you're not going to show a duplicate item. So let's say in this case, we have this oxygen snowboard in our cart. This would mean that another oxygen snowboard would not show up as an upsell. So that's the default setting. So that's why it starts off unchecked. And then we can choose to limit the number of upsells in the cart. So if you wanted to say only show three upsells in the cart, you could limit it to that, or you can have no limit. Then we have the upsell title. So by default, it says, You'll love these. You can change it to anything you want. Like, check this out. You can change your upsell position from top or bottom. In this case, we'll leave it on the bottom. And you have the upsell direction. So right now it's a carousel where you're scrolling left and right through these products. Or you can change it to a block, which just means the upsells are going to stack up on top of each other. So you can choose which one of these you think looks better. In this case, I'll use the carousel because it keeps the cart a little bit smaller. So that's the upsell block. The next one here is add-ons. So there's two different types of add-ons we can have here. So we'll enable this and we can see that we have either shipping protection or a product add-on. Now this is obviously going to vary depending on if your store actually offers any particular add-ons. So in this case, a lot of stores may offer shipping protection. So let's say if you were to add shipping protection in, we can see that the add-on title will be shipping protection. And we'll see that it costs $2.50. And then you can have the description right here. So you can edit any of this information if you want. And you can choose whether or not the offer is accepted by default or not. Or instead, you could choose to have a product add-on. So you could select a particular product in your store. So let's say this snowboard, for example. So in this case, the snowboard would be treated as an add-on, but obviously this isn't a realistic add-on. In this case, maybe you could have something like, it could be something like gift wrap for holiday gifts or something like that. So that's where you would add this add-on right here. So that's how you can set up the add-ons. And the next section here is additional notes. So this is how customers can actually just add special instructions to the cart here. So you can see the notes title says add special instructions, but you can obviously change this to anything you want. And then we have the placeholder text right here. So the customer can leave special instructions for their order here if they want to go ahead and do that. So this one's pretty self-explanatory. The next one here is discount code. So if we enable this, we can see the discount code entry screen will show up. So we can see that this discount code screen is normally what will show up at the checkout in Shopify, but instead we can make it show up, show up on the cart. And this is sometimes beneficial because if a customer is seeing the discount they're getting, you know, one or two screens sooner, then they're going to be more likely to complete their checkout. So if you have prominent discounts that you're commonly promoting on your store, you can have customers enter them on the cart and instead of at checkout, so you can do that right here. And then we have trust badges here. So if I were to enable these, 
all you would do is you would just have to upload a file to showcase your trust badges in this case or we can use preset images in this case we have the payment icons that we can see are now showing up down here at the bottom or we can change it to show up at the top and then lastly we have express payments so we can see that we can choose some of these express payment gateways to show up on our cart so if i were to enable these right here and then i were to click on a couple so let's say paypal and amazon pay we can see that now these payment methods are showing up right here so this is pretty self-explanatory so now that we've added all this stuff what i'm going to do is i'm going to click save just so we can see what it looks like on live really quickly so now we'll load it up and we can see that we have the new cart so we have all the different sections we added in so we have the timer we have the free shipping bar we have our actual product right here we have the special note we have the upsells, we have shipping protection, which is showing up right here. And this is also where the product out on would show up. We have the discount code and we have the checkout and the payment buttons right here. But obviously you don't have to use every one of these sections. So you can mix and match to choose which sections you want to use that you think will be best suited for your car. So if you think it's overcrowded by using all of them, you don't have to use all of them. So let's say we were to hide a couple of these. Let's say we will hide like the announcement. We'll hide the notes, hide the badges, save. So now let's see if we hit a few sections and then we open it up. We can see now the cart looks a little bit less hectic with just the free shipping notification, our actual products, our upsells, shipping protection, the discount code, and the checkout. So this is going to be personal preference, whether you want to stack a bunch of different options into the cart or whether you want to have a more simplistic looking cart. This is going to vary. There's not really any right answer. It's just going to depend on how you want your cart to look and how you want it to blend in with your store and how many different things do you have to offer. So if you have a bunch of different payment options and if you have product add-ons and you need to receive uh, special order notes for your orders, then you're going to, going to be using more sections than maybe another store that doesn't need to use those things. So that's how we can edit all of this here. So now if we come down here to settings, we can edit some of this basic stuff here. So we have by default, the cart slides in from the right. As we can see over here, we can also make it slide in from the left. And we can choose to enable or disable the sticky footer. We can choose whether or not we want the cart to open on add to cart. So right now it opens on add the cart. So if I add a product to the cart, we can see that this cart automatically opens up. We can disable that if we want. We can choose whether or not we want to go to cart instead of checkout. We can choose to show savings below product prices, or we can choose whether or not we want to show continue shopping. And then there's some advanced settings down here that we can edit as well. And then we have our translations. So we can actually change the different text in here. So we, by default, we have the cart title, which is cart. So we could change it to whatever we want. So it could be like your cart. You can change the checkout button that your cart is empty. You're able to change all of this different text in here to whatever you want. And then you can enter custom HTML and CSS if you need some advanced customization. So I'm going to click save. And that's pretty much how you can customize everything in your cart. Now, if we come to sticky card, I'm going to quickly show you how you can add the sticky card to the store. So we can see here, all we have to do is go to sticky card and enable it right here. And then we can choose the card icon. So we can have it be one of these three icons right here. And then you can change the color of the card icon if you want. So you're probably going to have the card icon match whatever your button color is on your theme. So I'm going to just click on save and we're going to come back over here and I'm going to refresh. And now we can see the card icon showing up. And as I scroll down, we can see that this card icon will always be showing up right here. And we can choose to change the position. So right now it's in the bottom right, but we could choose to make it, let's say, center right. So if we refresh, now we can see the card is showing up here in the center right instead of the bottom right. So that's how you can completely customize your cart experience inside of Shopify using the UpCart app. And it's very easy and simple, and you can really edit everything you need to do inside of these two very easy to use screens.